go shopping, a lot of stores offer different, ooh, wow, this is, look at this deal, look at that deal, and some end up being better than others. But we want to find out numerically what is the best deal and which one's the worst one. And we can, we can rely on the numbers to guide us rather than just saying, oh, I think that sounds better, let's prove it. So one says you get two for the price of one. So your price is you're paying 100%, but you get 200% of the product out of that. When I reduce this, that gives me one half. That is saying each item I buy is half the price it originally is because that's being divided. You get two of those, but you only pay for one, so that discount is being divided among two elements. So it's a 50% discount. You're paying 50%. That is a really good sale. Now if we look at this, it says buy one, get 25% off the other. So if you're thinking about, well, how much is my total cost then? If I get, if I have to pay 100% of the first item and only 75% of the other one, that means I'm spending 175% of the cost and I get 200%, so I get two full items, so that's 200. When I set it up that way and I divide 175 by 200, oops, helps if I, 175 divided by 200, I get 0.875, so I have an eight, so I get, uh, I pay 87.5% on each. The other way I could have figured this out is, I get two items and I don't have to pay 25%. So what I can do is that 25% gets divided among two items. So the discount for each that you're paying, you get a discount of 12 and a half percent. Well, 100 minus 12 and a half means you pay 87.5% of the original cost. Here you get buy two and get 50% off the third. So that means you're getting a total of a 50% discount divided among three elements. So 50 divided by three means you get a 16 and two thirds percent discount. So um, let's see, 116.6 means you're paying 83.4% of the original cost for each item. So, so far, our first discount is the best because you're only paying 50%. The third option is your second best because you're only paying 83. And then we have 87.5% that you pay of the original amount. Okay, so let's find out about this one. So this says you get three for the price of two. So that means you get 100% off of one. So that 100% then is being divided among the three options that you get because you paying less than it. So you could go, you pay 200%, but you get 300% of the product. That simplifies to two thirds. You're paying two thirds, which is 66.7%. So you got a 33.3% discount by using this. So it looks like option number one, we get the greatest discount because we pay the smallest percentage remaining. Option four gives us the second greatest discount because we only have to pay just, just under 67% of the original amount. Third option is your third best savings and the second option is your least greatest savings because you're only getting a 12.5% discount on each item that you buy. So when you're wanting to explain your rationale for question number two and three, question number two asks, how did you determine the discount you chose and number one was the greatest option? You would say, I calculated that there was a 15% or a 50% discount, which was way greater than the 67, 83 or 87%. So have the numbers because those numbers give proof beyond it looked bigger or it seemed better or I, it, it looked like the smallest amount or the greatest amount. Those aren't factual. That's not concrete. So we need some data, basically a statistic, to help us prove and defend our rationale. 
Um, and then for the last one, it says which of the four these four different offers gives the smallest price reduction and explain. You can say after calculating everything, you only got a 12.5% discount on the second option, which was less than your other options available. Okay, so just you have to start with finding the discounts in order to then be able to defend and explain um, the greater or less savings.